The Israeli city of Haifa has come under intense bombardment by Hezbollah. In the last one month itself, there have been at least 20 airstrikes on the port city. Our next report tells you what makes Haifa an easy target for the Iran-backed group and this as Israel intensifies its offensive in Lebanon. Take a look. Amid the raging Israeli ground and air offensive in Lebanon, the Iran-backed Hezbollah group is hitting back at one of Israel's biggest cities. Blaring sirens, plumes of smoke covering the sky, have become a common sight in the Israeli port city of Haifa. The city with the busiest seaport and a metropolitan population of around 1 million, Haifa has been the primary target of Hezbollah's aerial attacks, especially after the killing of its chief, Hassan Nasrallah, last month. Part of this is due to the port city's vulnerability, located just 27 kilometers from the Lebanon border. The city presents an easy target for Hezbollah's missiles and as home to significant Israeli naval sites, several warships, energy installations, and a Shayatid 7 unit, it promises many strategic gains for the militant group. Standing on the Mediterranean coast, Haifa serves as trade and commerce hub, connecting Europe, West Asia and Asia. The port of Haifa also offers quick access to Israel's major cities and industrial hubs, facilitating the efficient transport of goods and resources. With its unmissable strategic significance, the Hezbollah is focusing on hitting energy and military installations. Back-to-back -back rocket salvos have jolted Haifa, causing massive damage and destruction. On October 8, Hezbollah bombarded Haifa with over 100 rockets within an hour, which left several injured. The relentless bombardment has forced the Israeli military to review its sophisticated air defense systems like the Iron Dome, Arrow and David Sling. The IDF has launched a probe to investigate why its air defense systems have failed to intercept a barrage of Hezbollah rockets. The Iron Dome is not effective against a low-flying object uh, like the Cornet or the, or the Burkan uh, rocket, which fly in, in a relatively low altitude. And also, it's not effective against uh, short-range objects, like, again, like the ATM anti-tank missiles, the Cornet, or the Burkan, because it takes time to, for the system to get ready and to operate, and, uh, and it's, it's too, short, short, too short time for, this, for the system to be ready. Haifa has been threatened by the Houthis in Yemen as well. On June 23rd, Houthis carried out joint attacks against the city and several of its ships, but the attacks haven't been confirmed by Israel. The non-stop rocket attacks have triggered panic among the locals in Haifa, with many living in fear. I really hope it will change the future for the area. And mostly I hope it will be a turning point for the hostages and we will see them coming home as soon as possible, uh, alive, and hope we will end this war and uh, live in peace here. Haifa is living precariously on the edge, desperately waiting for a ceasefire to end the destruction. Bureau report, we on World is One.